What is up y'all, Odeed here once again, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to reverse sear a beef rib roast, or as some people like to call it, a prime rib. Let's go ahead and get that video started. All right, y'all, what I have here is about a five and a half pound beef rib roast. As far as trimming, you could trim some of this fat off here if you want, clean up the edges, but really, um, I'm just gonna put some rub on it, and that's really the only prep you need to do. I have a beef rub that I came up with here, and in this video, because it's Christmas and I'm feeling generous, I'm gonna give you guys my beef rub recipe. It'll be down in the description. And for now, just liberally apply it to the roast, super easy. All right, y'all, and just like that, it's super simple. By the way, this rub will give this uh, beef here, kind of bring out that nice beefy flavor, give you like a nice rich kind of flavor to it. Um, and of course, if you want, you could always just put salt and pepper or salt, pepper, and garlic, which is another option. So now at this point, uh, put it in some kind of uh, apparatus. You can wrap it in foil. Um, you can put it in some kind of container with a lid on it uh, and stick it in the fridge overnight and basically let it marinate for 24 hours as you want this rub to permeate this large piece of meat. And we will be back tomorrow. All right, y'all, it is the next day. The prime rib has been marinating in the fridge overnight and I'm getting the Weber Smoky Mountain set up for my cook. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook this Minion Method style meaning uh, in the bottom of the Weber Smoky Mountain, I'm gonna have some unlit lump charcoal along with some wood chunks. And you can basically use uh, whatever kind of wood chunks that you have. You could use uh, oak, you could use hickory, you could use apple. Um, just whatever you can find that's a hard wood will work. And then pour about uh, half a chimney full of lump charcoal into a chimney starter. Get that burned down to coals, pour it into the bottom of the Weber Smoky Mountain and then construct the Weber Smoky Mountain saying what's up to my neighbor, and then construct the Weber Smoky Mountain without the water pan in the inside and we'll get it started. All right, y'all, I got that uh, half chimney full of lit coals into the bottom of the Weber Smoky Mountain. I put it together once again without the water pan on the inside so we can almost get like a direct, indirect kind of cooking situation going here. Now, once the temperature got up to 200 degrees on the dial, um, I ratcheted back the uh, vents on the bottom to about an eighth open and I'm hoping to reach a temperature of somewhere between 250 and 275 on the dome uh, and with that water pan out of there, that'll probably get me somewhere between probably 275 and 300 right at the grate. Now once all this like charcoal smoke kind of clears up, I'll go ahead and put the prime rib on. One thing to also note, I have my Thermowork smoke here. I'm gonna put this in the thickest part of the meat and we're gonna uh, do this kind of indirect cooking here until we get to an internal temperature of about 125 degrees which I should think uh, would take about an hour and a half. All right, y'all, Weber Smoky Mountain is up to about 270 degrees. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put that uh, prime rib on. One of the cool kind of uh, effects we're gonna get by putting this on without the water pan on is when the fat on this starts rendering off, it's gonna drip down and hit those coals, sear and kind of come back up and give that meat a nice flavor. Put this in the thickest part. All right, once again, I'm expecting this to take about an hour and a half, but you know what? It's gonna take as long as it takes. We will be back. All right, y'all, prime rib has reached an internal temperature of 125 degrees. It actually took a little longer than I thought. It took about two and a half hours, but you know what? It's all good, I'm not in a hurry. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. Very nice, you can hear the fat dripping off. It looks really good. All right, now the next thing that we're gonna do we're going to remove the centerpiece here. We're gonna put that grate on the very bottom and we're gonna get a sear going. So let's go ahead and get that started. Now be very careful when you do this. There's a lot of fat uh, in that roast and you can get flare ups and because you're so close to the fire, you can also burn the outside of it. So just so you know, uh, move it pretty quickly. Maybe do like a minute per side. Also make sure you do every side of this. You do want to do the tops and the bottom. I just wanted to get the sides first. Again, watch out for those flare ups. All right, that should be good. Let's go ahead and take it off. We're gonna put it in a foil pan, wrap it in foil and let it rest for about 15 minutes. 
All right, y'all, let's recap real quick on what we did with this prime rib roast. So it was smoked on the Weber Smoky Mountain with no uh, water pan on the inside. I'd say the average temp at the grate was probably around 310, maybe somewhere around there. Cooked for two and a half hours, and then uh, we removed the middle part of the Weber Smoky Mountain, put the grate directly down on the coals, and then seared uh, each side of the rib roast for about a minute. So let's see how it came out. Oh yeah, look at that, it looks amazing. All right, and then we're just slicing it here down the side. Took the ribs off. See what it looks like on the inside. Oh, look at all that juice. Yee. By the way, make sure you save these ribs. To me, these are the best part. In fact, let's take a taste of these. So yeah, these are personally my favorite part. Flavor, so much flavor. It's nice and smoky. You get the crust on there. Oh, that is good. You taste the rub, that, that uh, rub that I said would give it a nice beefy flavor. <laughs> so juicy, man. Cut this piece in half here, take a little taste. Once again, nice and juicy. Yeah, to me that's perfect. Juicy, smoky, you get the rub, you get the um, the crust in there. It's nice and beefy. Um, the rub doesn't overpower it, it just adds a nice beefiness to it. That is really good. It's time for us to eat Christmas lunch. I am out, my name is Odeed, peace.